like this? Yeah. yeah. Little no, Guatemala. Mexico. No, Mexico. A little, no, Guatemala. Guatemala. Oh, Guatemala. Nice. Uh, every day she has this wonderful outfit with the well, bright jewels and everything. I have to keep up with Campeche. Campeche is part of the... Say hi to everybody. Campeche. See our little Mother's Day flower? She smell the flowers here? We're going to be talking to a very important musician tonight. Thank you for joining us at the Canon Club, uh, live on the social media, uh, Instagram, the Gallery Inn. And uh, we're going to, as Jan was saying, have a special guest. We have been all these wonderful uh, musicians. Uh, last night we had Olga Kerr right. from Moscow. And tonight we're going to have Guillermo Figueroa. Guillermo Figueroa, everybody knows him here in Puerto Rico and uh, worldwide. He is uh, a fantastic violinist and a conductor who was a former conductor of the Puerto Rico Symphony Orchestra, founding for how many member. Years? For how many years? Uh, I don't know, 12 years, oh, something oh, like that. Uh, I think it's about six or seven years. We'll ask. Yeah, him. something like that. We'll ask. We'll and ask. also, he was a founding member of the prestigious uh, Orpheus Chamber Orchestra. And uh, his, uh, his, uh, his career has been spectacular. He's now the uh, conductor of the Saint, uh, Santa Fe Chamber Symphony. And he's going to join us. Uh, is he around? Guillermo, Guillermo, are you here? Are you with us? Are you with us? I see you. I see you. We're waiting for Guillermo. Did you see me? For Guillermo Figueroa. Violinist and conductor of the Santa Fe. Ah, there he is. Guillermo, there you are. Hello. Hello, how are you? So Can you see me and hear can me? Can you hear us? Both. Absolutely. I can hear you perfectly. Wonderful. Yes, wonderful. I like that. Well, it's nice. To be here we are. San Juan, Santa Fe. Uh -huh. Isn't that where you are? <laughs> well, I'm actually in Albuquerque, but Santa Fe is fine because I'm conductor of the Santa Fe Symphony. So both the both I consider both as my hometown. So right. My second hometown. My third hometown. New York would be the other one. And the fourth town, San Juan. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, 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 what's, tell us a little bit about the post that you have as the conductor of the Santa Fe Chamber Orchestra. It's not, well, it's, it's the Santa Fe Symphony, uh, oh, not Santa Chamber Fe Orchestra. Symphony. Or right, yeah. was the Chamber Orchestra. Right. Well, this is right. Santa Fe Symphony. Right. Um, it's a fantastic orchestra. It's a great privilege to, to be here. I've been in New Mexico now almost 20 years. Wow. I can't believe it. It's a long time. And I was first uh, music director of the New Mexico Symphony right. uh, a few years ago. And right. then uh, when that was over, uh, they named me music uh, principal conductor of the Santa Fe Symphony, which I have now. Great. And uh, it's just a great place to live. And especially... In, uh, in this time and in, in this pandemic, because everybody's so scared and we have to be so careful as to how we interact and everything. But New Mexico is a big place yeah. <laughs> and there's a lot of open space. And uh, here, even here from my, from my house, um, we can walk out. <clears throat> we can walk out and walk and have, there's a lot of paths some beautiful hiking trails and biking trails. And uh, you you can be away from people and everything. So um, as terrible as this thing is, it has he has been actually a very good uh, rest nice and day. welcome vacation for me. <laughs> <laughs> welcome vacation. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, a little time, a time to regroup and you know think about things that do other things that you don't normally have time to do, but you wish you could do. So. Right. That's what yeah, every, everybody's doing. That's so, what everybody's doing. And how is it? How is it there at the gallery? How is it there at the gallery? And how are you guys surviving all this? Quiet. Quietly. <laughs> no, actually, it's it's kind of uh, interesting. Um, I would say that the season had started really strong. We had lots of people. The Cannon Club was packed. We had. It, it just seemed like hundreds of people coming in and all of the music and concerts and it was just like magnificent. 
And then it's I like, love this song. Somebody turned the switch off. Wow. And here we are, kind of still looking at each other and saying, what happened? What happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and um, it, it occurred to us, uh, having been so close to all of you musicians, we were hearing, oh, I had this concert canceled. I had this engagement canceled. I had, and I said, well, this is a kind of an interesting subject. Maybe it might make a good, a good uh, a way to connect with all of you and hear what you're all going through and hear what you lost in the way of, I mean, how many concerts were canceled in your profession over there? Oh my God, I've, I've lost so much work. It's, it's really ridiculous from, I had concerts from mid-March and now I have nothing on schedule until the very end of August, and I even doubt that that would happen. That right. will happen. So, right. and uh, we were just talking about the. Uh, we had a faculty meeting at the uh, Lynn University where where I work. I commute to Florida for for that, and we have a wonderful conservatory there. And we just had a Zoom meeting uh, of the faculty, and it doesn't look very good. I'm not very hopeful because how can you start? universities, especially a place like Lynn, you have students that are coming from all over the world. Yeah. Like, how are you going to make sure that everybody is healthy? How are you going to keep people healthy? And But, uh, you know, in a, in a normal university, or uh, you can do, uh, you can effectively do a lot of courses online and all that kind of thing. But what do I do with my orchestra? How can I do an orchestra? How can I leave an orchestra? That's difficult. Online, yeah. online, or chamber music. Imagine, right. you know. So, uh, yeah, it's very difficult. We're it, it, it's a big struggle. But what I always say is that, as difficult and as horrible and as inconvenient as this is, as long as we are healthy and we yes. get to the other side. That's right. That's <laughs> my point. That's all that matters. That's all it matters. You know, this too. Is, this this too will pass. pass. This yes. will pass. Yeah. Pass. Yeah, this will pass. The health is the first It may take important. another year, but <laughs> it will pass. Yeah. Well, it will pass. It will pass. Yeah. We've well, been through good. storms before. It's not the first one. And then uh, uh -huh. uh, Kiko broke his wrist, which we all say if he's going to I break, know. How, what wrist. happened, Kiko? A freak accident. I was coming out of the shower, and uh, there was some a puddle of water. I didn't see it. And it just, I went <laughs> into my wrist. It was, they had to reconstruct it, the whole thing. My fingers are fine. As you see, they, they have agility, and the hand is fine. But from here, <laughs> it's like, yeah. Well, so I was going to say, the next time you get mad at somebody, kick them instead of punching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, kick well. them. Don't use your hands. That's right. <laughs> What do you think of my uh, my quarantine looks? You look great. You look great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You look like a, a, a I've movie, never had that, movie so. star. Movie star. <laughs> yeah. Why not? So are you? Why not? Are you teaching online at all? Yes, yes, I have. I um, I have five violin students at the conservatory, and that's all I've been able to do because my obviously my other class is the orchestra, which I can't do. But I have been teaching my violin students, and that's been has been good. It's difficult because over yeah. online, of course, the sound the sound is horrible. Um, so, but at least you can say a few things and you keep them engaged. And right. and, uh, and <clears throat> the main thing, I think, the main value of online classes is that they keep practicing. It's not right. about what you're going to teach them. It's, exactly. it's that they keep practicing. <laughs> they don't yeah, let it so go. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's that's yeah, what yeah, matters. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, in that way, it's been going. very good. And that's the important that's But you know, since 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 this uh, since this show is centered around piano, and you have that magnificent piano there in the in, in your in your uh, music room, and Kiko, of course, is a world class pianist. I thought you'd be interested to know that one of the things that I've been doing to keep myself engaged during this time is. Um, I go to music that I really don't know, and the 
best thing that has happened to me is that I have been listening to all 32 Beethoven piano sonatas. Oh my God. One after, one after the other in a row with the music to That's learn fantastic. because I'm not a pianist. Yes. And I, you know, I've heard some, some of the yeah. sonatas, but yeah. certainly not all 32. Right. And I have played and conducted so much Beethoven in my life, and I thought I knew Beethoven. Yeah. I didn't uh, until I got you to know, know his piano sonatas. It's such an incredible world, and I am so yeah. jealous <laughs> because there's <laughs> nothing like it for any other instrument yeah. in the it's world. I mean, true. It's probably the greatest collection of music for a single yes. instrument that anybody ever wrote. Absolutely. And uh, they're, so, they're even so much more advanced than the piano violin sonatas of the same period. Yes. yes. It's like you can almost imagine that he's writing them for himself. Right. So he can experiment and do whatever, well, whatever the heck he, he wants. wants. Yeah, exactly. There's exactly. such freedom, freedom of expression and form. And you don't even form, find that in the. the, in the, is, in the it's incredible. Yeah. yeah. It, there, it's ridiculous. I and yeah. I had really very little idea of that. So that's been a, a really uh, terrific thing for me to, to discover. That's great. So, yeah. 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 <laughs> I. How many have you played, on, Kiko? You played. Have you played them all? No, uh, I played hundred. Well, I played like ten, ten of them. Yeah. But I know, I know them all because I taught them or read through them or right. anything like that. Yeah. <laughs> right. uh, I don't know if you approve. I, I, I picked just to be consistent. I picked the uh, Richard Good recording, and I'm oh, with him and playing all, Richard all is, thirty-two. You can't go wrong with Richard. <laughs> That's fine. That's great. Yeah. That's great. We, That's great. Uh, yeah. Are we having problem with um, Guillermo's uh, tape? Saudi? Yeah. Guilla, yeah, apparently what you send has copyright and it cannot be oh, seen in Puerto Rico or something like that. Oh, but I've said, I, really? It's, it's, it's in YouTube. It's, 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 it's public. It's in YouTube. It's public. Yeah. Yeah. They cannot copyright it? We can add copyright for restricted for location. We're listening to. Oh, it's the IT. It's restricted to location, he says. Oh. That's weird. So that's Sorry, I lost you there for a minute. I have a, I have um, you're going to see. He's, let's see. He's going to do another one. Video unavailable. Oh. Ah, OK. Oh, dear. I'll send another one. Send, send another one, yeah. Yeah, I'll another. keep looking. You can just keep talking while I'm playing yeah, with this exactly. thing. Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> huh? Anyway, it was, uh, I don't know how many years ago that I met Guillermo here when he was uh, actually at his post conducting with the symphony. How and many years were you in uh, the conductor of the Puerto Rico Symphony? Uh, uh, six years. Oh, six yeah. years. Ah, oh, okay. Six yeah, yeah. Six years, yeah. Right. Okay. Tell us. Oh, okay. Can you? No, talk no, it's okay. I'm, I just keep at the same time. We're looking for music here to play because this. I uh, almost have it. I almost have it. I'm almost there. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's nice to have a peek into your house and see where you live. <laughs> see it looks very New Mexico. Yeah, New hey, Mexico. Well, that's. Yeah. I've been okay, there. Okay, I got the link. I got the link. So, I, you got the link. Hold on a second. I will send it again. This one is this one you definitely can use. So yeah, okay, not a problem. We'll send and it's actually one. nice because it's a live it's a live video concert. Um, okay, I sent. I just sent a different one. Okay, he sent another one now. Well, that's... If you can get it, got it. Yeah, the, got, uh, it. got it. Got the it. link. Yeah. The link I no? sent. Um, I sent it to the same email. Now, now we have it. Now, now we, have, we it. have it. So we're going to hear a little bit of Guillermo right. playing. Uh, what is this one? Oh, just, yeah, we'll, we'll talk. Uh, well, this is a, uh, one of my favorite things. This, this is um, 
the world premiere of uh, music by Ernesto Cordero, concertos that he wrote for me. Uh, and we we gave the world premiere in Zagreb, Croatia, of all places, <laughs> of all places. with the Il Solisti di Zagreb. Yeah. And uh, this is the first movement. Uh, well, you'll hear the whole piece, but yeah. this is the Concertino Tropical by ah, Ernesto yes. Cordero. That's wonderful. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ernesto so Cordero, so that's, that's the Rico first time it was ever played. Right. Yeah, contemporary. Yeah. 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 We lost audio. No, I think he, no? we're just waiting. He's going to go. There we go. We're back. Okay. Are you, are you ready to play, uh, Doris? All right, let's keep talking then. So, Guillermo, you have so much to tell us about your life, your career. Um, tell us, you're aware, you are a founding member of the Orphan's Chamber Ensemble. Tell me that those, let's go back to those days. Oh, the good Lord. Good those Lord. are the days that, well, those were the days that you and I were at Juilliard together. Yes, absolutely. Uh, the, the early, the early seventies. Yes. And, uh, in 1973, I was asked to, to play with this, with a group that had already sort of begun. Yes. Um, and, um, I joined and it was an amazing experience, uh, to be with those players. And we, we immediately form and, and started rehearsing and it was a conductorless, it still is it, conductorless chamber orchestra, right. which was a very radical idea at the time. You remember those times, Kiko, they were still the hippie days, you know, everybody, yes, very you know, much. Everybody was a revolutionary. Everybody was against the, something. <laughs> right. The Afros. So we were the against the establishment. Yes. <laughs> right. We were going to play, we're right. going to play without a conductor because yeah. we and don't so, need it. And, right. and nobody gave us a chance. Uh, right. And then came Alice Tully Hall and came Carnegie Hall and everybody thought, oh, these guys are for real. Yeah, and we got the Dutch gramophone re uh, contract recording, and we started making CDs, and uh, and the rest was history. So, right. but those were great days. Um, yeah, and uh, Kiko and I, Jan, Kiko and I had, I had a chamber music class together. Right. at Juilliard, uh, we played Gallagher. piano trio. <laughs> yeah, with Felix Gallagher. That was a uh, amazing. <laughs> We had a great time. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, Kiko, no, Kiko and I have gone through more than you even know, Dan. So, <laughs> yes, so, true. Long from, from the history. times of interlocking. And from the times that you would come to the house at the Figueroa house. At the Figueroa, um, since I was eight years old. Yeah. Yes, I remember yeah. you and Yvonne yeah. and, uh, yeah, everybody. And the, the gang from Cachiro. Hi, man. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody. A lot of music. Yeah. And I remember your mother and aunt so well. Yes. So they were always. They were amazing. Yeah, behind was amazing. Me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Walk yeah. Through the video. So can you walk us through the video uh, in one yeah. way? The, yeah. Okay. Good. I think the video is ready. Okay. Then Concertino there's nothing to watch. It's a Concertino Tropical by Ernesto Cordero. I'm by the Ernesto soloist Cordero. and the orchestra is the Solisti di Zagreb. Solisti di Zagreb. Orchestra. Yeah. Good, but well, let's go for yeah. it. All right, let's go for it. Are we ready? Yeah. <laughs> I tell you. There we go. Ah!
All right. And we're back. <laughs> I don't hear you now. Are you guys there? I can't hear you guys. I don't hear you. <sighs> I'm going to try to uh, connect again and maybe the second time will have will be good. I hear you. <laughs> I can't hear you, Jan. I'm sorry. I can see you. This was fabulous. Now I hear you. Now I hear you. He hears us. Well. Fine. I'm doing lip reading here because I don't hear you at all, but never mind. You can do the talking and tell everybody that uh, when, so that was performed when? Oh my God, that was um, 2009? Oh. Yeah, 11 years ago. Yeah, 2009. And uh, after that performance, we went uh, into the studio so the next yeah. couple it's a fantastic piece and a great CD. performance. Uh, so, uh, we made a CD for Naxos, and with that CD, we were nominated uh, for a Latin Grammy. So, which we didn't win, but it was still nice to get a nomination. So. And if I had, you know, I, I had a, one of my concerts that was canceled was uh, would have been March with the Puerto Rico Symphony which I was going to conduct and I was going to stay with Fine. you at the, at the gallery. Bring it here. And, uh, and I was going to play Ernesto's piece ah. before conducting the rest of the program. So, so uh, heard it live. this, oh, okay. So this, this performance, uh, have you performed it in other places before, besides Zagreb and, uh, Oh my God. So many places, so many places. I, I think I'm into like the, the at least 20 or 25 performances all over the place uh, with, with different orchestras. So, um, so it's great. Yeah, it's great. It's it's like it's like my vehicle. That's why when people ask me to play a solo, I want to play this. You know, it's like, so. no, no, we can't hear anything. But so he's talking away. It's talking away. But uh, yeah, can it's, you hear us? You can, can hear us. Can, can you hear I us? can hear you, Ken. Yeah, okay, good. Um, so we, we have been uh, featuring this performance. I think uh, our IT guy told us that we're going to, are we going to broadcast this at the end also? But anyway, oh, the, uh, Guillermo, yeah. what um, the Cannon Club, the Gallery, and the Steinway Society, we're really trying to gather everybody together during this time and all our old friends and, uh, and people who have played here before and who have been coming here for years. And it makes such a wonderful format 
to right. um, during this time when people do have time and we're getting actually a really good following on these broadcasts and uh, actually uh, I think we even have a little donate button so that we can say uh, uh, help with the Steinway Society so we can keep all these wonderful things going and, uh, and the gallery in is of course with no guests and nobody coming in at this point we're expecting people in maybe a couple of weeks uh, but it's going to be a while, I think, before things yes. pick up. And certainly we'll in back your to profession, right. in the yes. concertizing and, and audience and theaters and what are these, you, you are the people who are the most uh, damaged by the problems that we're having. And we don't know for how long they're going to go on. So we'll keep going on and doing this. We have uh, not only pian uh, pianists, we have... Um, Rob Perlman, the actor from Hollywood, gave us a wonderful interview the other day. Great guy. Uh, we had Olga Kern last night. Yeah. And yeah. Henry, Henry Hutchinson is going to join us uh -huh. uh, for chit chat uh -huh. about his time with the Puerto Rico Symphony, and he's very game to. And tomorrow. And tomorrow we're going to have Narciso, and Narciso's then uh, I think uh, Rafi is online too. So we're gathering. We have Carly Munoz in the jazz department from the Beach Boys. So we're trying to gather everybody who has been here <coughs> at the gallery. And, um, and it's, I, I, I must say, this has given a fantastic uh, kind of um, exposure uh, to everybody. You, uh, all the artists, us, the gallery, because this can s all these uh, programs have been recorded. So you can go back to them. We have a kind of a library. Uh, that you can refer to. So I think that that's that's been wonderful, yeah. And you know, like, I don't know if you're aware of this, but for example, in my festival, the Puerto Rico Piano Festival, we're going to do it online, which means a lot of people that originally were supposed to the come will, co will come, but we all now the opportunity to expand to Japan, to China, to Russia, wow. everywhere. So that's the good thing. That's the silver lining of this thing that we 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 are publicly uh, much more active Fantastic. and more and more in the front through this incredible social media. When it works. When it works. <laughs> can you can you still not hear me? No. Yeah, now I can hear no, you perfectly. Yeah, yeah. Can yeah. you still not hear me? Yeah. Yes, yeah, yes, 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 yes. Good, good. Yes. So Kiko. Send me the information to the of the piano festival yeah. because I would like I would like to uh, send it to the uh, the piano department at Lynn yes. as well. We have a sure. we have two fabulous teachers there, an incredible group of students, and right. I'm sure they would like at least to listen, if not participate in some way right. or another. Absolutely. So send me all that information, and I'll pass it along. Absolutely, I would so greatly appreciate it. Say it again now. Uh, what? The dates of the uh, of oh, the festival, June twenty eighth to July twelfth. Okay, yeah. so I mean we're going to do, yeah we'll be online. What we're trying to do is to do lecture demonstration, conference on topics, um, and the students also have the possibility and the advantage to take lessons online if they want. So we're selling several packages. So we can okay. be just uh, part of the uh, conference or conference with master class or conference master class private lessons online. So you know, it's we're going whatever. with the times. I'm going, we're going with the times. Great. And can and you do we don't it? have yeah. much choice. Uh, but I will and send you all the information. Yeah. And Olga Kearns and all his her terrific. love to you. She's so fond of. You, you know, and all wonderful. the works that you... <laughs> wonderful <don't wonder>. music <laughs> and wonderful. And you remember you and Yvonne had a wonderful concert here. It must have been about four years ago. I remember the governor even came and we yeah. had a wonderful... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we've done a lot of fun things. So it's good to gather everyone. I am so sorry I missed not... I'm so sorry I missed being there in March. That was... Uh, uh, I was so looking forward to that. It's and, great uh, but, to have you. Um, I'm happy to say that if things keep improving or start to improve, um, my concert with the Puerto Rico Symphony has been rescheduled for the end of October. Oh, good. Um, actually, actually on Halloween. 
<laughs> so, um, uh, what were you gonna play? So if that happened, ah, uh, some, well, uh, some, sometime during that week, yeah. I know it's Halloween week, uh, so I hope um, that I can see you then and be there and and put on that yeah. concert because I really Wonderful. I really miss uh, you'll going. You'll be staying so. here at the Gallery Inn. You'll be of sipping cocktails at the cocktail at the uh, <laughs> Cannon Club. You'll be practicing. Uh, in, coming home to us and staying in a wonderful cozy bed in the gallery inn and uh, you'll hopefully meet some of the young uh, students that come frequently to play the pianos and to uh, enjoy all the music that we produce here too. Guillermo, it's fun to have you with us tonight. I hope uh, we heard a little bit of uh, the difficulty with some of the sound, but I think uh, people understand we're trying to do this all by ourselves and uh, uh, with the help of a wonderful volunteer engineer, uh, uh, Dowdy's Nolasco, he's been very uh, happy to help us with all of this. Uh, this is a great idea, so we're just happy to share it with those with the interest of music, the love of music, and caring yes. about being together. Being together. <laughs> being together. <laughs> At a distance, but being together. So if I, if I want to tell somebody, if I want to tell somebody to watch this program later, you said it's recorded, what do I tell them to do? Where do they go? They can go on YouTube. You can go to YouTube and see, uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, all the social. You can go. The Instagram, the gallery in. Yeah, go to Remember the, the Canon, Canon Club, Canon.club Facebook. Uh, they can watch it and also in the Instagram. Uh, okay. Not in, your, not in your website, not in the gallery and yeah, website. Yes, in, in the gallery. I believe you can uh, uh, in the in website. There as well. Yeah, as they will. Correct. And remember. Okay. There. Yeah, we're there. The Canon Club a... Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. And if you subscribe, then you can uh, yeah, we're even find working. it here. That's fine. I only need one. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then they keep saying. I only saying, need one of those, so that's good. Don't forget to donate. There is a donate button so that we can keep these all of these instruments tuned and keep all these, um, everything that we need to do to uh, keep the Steinway Society going and keep going with all of the plans and concerts we have and uh, keep the music going. And please subscribe and because that way you can follow all this uh, programs we are doing daily. And yeah, it, we are yeah. doing this so every day at 6 o'clock. At 6 o'clock. Yeah. And uh, that's when the first airing comes out, the live yeah. live. But you can follow it uh, and pull it up uh, continuously on Facebook and uh, the uh, YouTube as well. So is it is it cocktails before the program or cocktails after the program? After or both? It's cocktails during the program. So. Or during the program. Yeah, we're, we're we're gonna have a little motto that says buy Jen a cocktail, donate. There you go. A cocktail at the Cannon Club. It can't be anything. Oh my wow. God. Well, thank you, Guillermo, for this wonderful time together in virtual time. Oh, thank you. And Thanks for having me. I feel I feel a little bit like I'm there, even though yes. I'm not. Yes, you are here. You are here. You are here always. <laughs> always. It's wonderful. It's such wonderful thanks to you. Thank you. We had a great time yes. together. Yeah, good time. Thank you. We'll be back. Stay well, please. Stay, stay healthy. Stay safe. Don't do anything right. stupid. I know. Wear your mask. Wear your wear my mask. Wear your gloves. Exactly. Right. Wash, wear your, gloves. wash your hands. Wash your hands. <laughs> and Kiko, don't punch it. Don't punch anybody. Okay. I don't punch anybody anymore. I'll <laughs> swear to you. <laughs> hey, I can play the uh, Ravel left hand concerto. You have any? Sports? There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, this is wonderful. Give All right. Me such a pleasure. Big virtual hug. All right. And a blown kiss all the way Thank to you. you. Thank you so much for Thank being you here so much. with us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Take care. See you later. Take care.
talk with that? I said we did. <laughs> <laughs> On the table. Yeah. Oh, is it still going, darling? Are we still alive? Oh, we're his. <laughs>
I'm Jim Owen. I'm Jim's bestie. <laughs> and I'm a member of the Cannon Club. And I think you should join the Cannon Club. Thank you. I'm Jim's bestie. Hi, I'm Jim Owen. <laughs> I think you should join the Cannon Club. Thank you. I'm holding your wine for you. I'm Jan's bestie. Thank you.